Hi, my name is Angelie Keimel. I'm one of the maternal fetal medicine doctors here at Mass General. I'm going to talk to you today about early risk assessment. Early risk assessment is one of our options for screening for aneuploidy or chromosomal disorders in the developing baby. We have two different components of the early risk assessment. One part is an ultrasound and the other part is blood work. In the ultrasound, we look first to make sure that the baby's developing as we would expect and measure the size. We look at the heartbeat to make sure that's normal. Then we measure at the back of the neck a space that's called the nuchal translucency. This is a small fluid filled space and the measurement of that space has been associated with the risk of chromosomal problems, things like Down syndrome, as well as the risk of other structural problems or other genetic changes for the baby. We also look to see whether we can see the nasal bone. The nasal bone basically calcifies during this time during pregnancy and so the presence or absence of the nasal bone also helps to tell us what the risk of Down syndrome might be. After the ultrasound, we'll also draw blood. When you're pregnant, the placenta makes hormones that are circulating within your blood. We'll draw the blood and look for levels of three hormones, free beta HCG, PAP A, and AFP. And the level of each of those hormones, the pattern, along with the measurement of the nuchal translucency, the presence or absence of the nasal bone, and your age can help to determine an individualized risk for the likelihood that your baby has a chromosomal problem, particularly trisomy 21, trisomy 13, or trisomy 18. It takes about a week for the blood work to come back. So a week after this appointment, you'll get a call from the genetic counselor who will tell you what your individualized risk will be and whether any additional testing is recommended. This testing is covered by all insurance plans.